wife bought this off a of marketplace. It's a, it's like a futon bed, um, like a lounger. So she likes it. She doesn't like how much it reclines. So it is very much. That's pretty steep. Um, she wants to recline quite a bit more. So basically, with the two notches you got here, she would like to be able to go two more. I figure if I take this pattern and extend it. I should be able to get it to about here. You put this up, it goes inside, and then this can lay flat and it can be a bed. But if I extend this board, the mechanism that holds this, and you can see the, I think you can see the pin right here, wouldn't let it close. It wouldn't, uh, I can't just attach a board to it and then. So this is the shape that it pretty much is now, um, a rough estimate anyways, but I'm actually gonna, do this more of a swoop. I'm gonna cut this corner off and then go more vertical, especially on this one because the outside one, that bar board is coming in at more of an angle and I don't want it to be resting on the point. I want it to be resting inside this nook. This is a new saw I just got from my uncle my uncle-in-law, Norm. Norm gave me his radial arm saw. He likes to remind me every time I talk with him, don't cut your fingers off, Doug. <laughs> I attached a ruler to the top so I can just do rough cuts of a certain you know, length or whatever I need. So. My favorite saw now. I use this more than, in fact, my compound miter box. I haven't used since I got this. Clamps. So I'm just tracing that. How am I gonna cut that? I gotta come up with something else here. I have this. Okay, so basically what my thought is, this is clamped together, so I should be able to work it around here and make this. That should work. Long enough. Just sand it up, clean it up, round off the edges. Um, I think I have to round off. It's the good old sanding, it's the good old wood board and a Sandpaper and lots of sanding, lots of sanding. Basically, you just want to smooth off, round off the stuff to so it sort of matches the other one existing. I have these hinges, they're two inch hinge. Small. This is 1 16th. That's what I'm going to use. Darn small. That don't work for squat. I can get that. I got to go past this curve. So if I, to show you what it is from the other side, I, I got to go far enough in to catch wood there, which almost comes too far in. So then it's a little bit of a balancing act to get it just in the right spot. I'm just going to barely catch the bottom. I'm a little concerned with that, but hopefully it works. <coughs> hey, hey. You mind? 
tôi cho máy squeeze hả à? thì cho mày nó thì cho mày hẹn thì cho mày you're a helper aren't you <laughs> yes you are Run a board along the bottom. I'm gonna go get a scrap piece of board and run along the bottom and then clamp that so that holds this because this is just too wobbly and I'm not happy about that. All right, Katie. What can you do with helpers, huh? So I've got the edge of the board perfectly there. So what I'm gonna do is I have a little more control. I am going to attach this one and just leave that hinge like that and screw this in and then this and then I'm going to take it back here and attach it. And then that will swing in. Um, I don't like to use a, a drill to drive in screws like this because, well one, you're going to strip the wood out like instantly. And two do tighten it too much, not only can you strip the wood, sometimes you can crack the wood. And you can still crack it even with a screw like this, especially on a short part like that. But I think it's less prone to splitting with the pre-drilling. All right. Let's put that one in and then we can do the top one, or the bottom one. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about, really. If your hands don't shake like mine, you are lucky. <laughs> Whew, feel bad tonight. I'm hungry. My wife's coming home with a pizza. It's gonna be a bit before she's home. I like that. All right, let's drill the last hole and it works and she's happy. Yeah, I'll just two screws, take it apart, stain it up, put it back together. Yep, so the thing will still be able to close. For as much as you pay for Pottery Barn stuff, hundreds of dollars, probably four or five hundred bucks. I can't believe they didn't do something like that to make it so that you could actually recline in the thing. Because at this point, this the amount of recline was just a joke. She's gonna really like it. And that's what matters. Happy wife, happy life. Bye-bye.